but so a lot of name recognition, help them out a I bit, think. Won't it? Well, a big move today. Tonight, CVS is calling it quits with a bold and costly move to snuff out all sales of cigarettes and other tobacco products. Seven Action News reporter Tara Edwards has a closer look at the nation's second largest drugstore chain that is now kicking the habit. The first national pharmacy chain to quit selling tobacco products, CVS is clearly betting on a bigger future in the healthcare business. We've come to the conclusion that, you know, tobacco in a setting where healthcare is being administered, those two just don't go together. News that sales would stop by October 1st drew a mixed reaction from shoppers in Southfield. That's wonderful. Shouldn't be smoking anyway. It's bad for your health. But one smoker at least wasn't thrilled and questioned why the chain would continue selling beer and wine. I don't think it's a good idea because it was convenient for me and it's probably convenient for a lot of people as they pick up other items, they pick up their cigarettes and I think if they're going to sell alcohol, that surprises me. A nearby store owner claimed to be inspired. Uh, I think it's a very courageous move and I really like it. Wasam Zora says if other drug stores follow suit, he may too at his party store. I, I have a liquor store here, and I think I could stay without selling cigarettes. Personally, I don't know about the other businesses, but personally, if I have to take this move, you know, I don't mind taking it. There's no word yet on other pharmacy chains following CVS's lead. Outside of Rite Aid, one customer wasn't so sure. I really think that it's probably a big profit item, so. Um, I, they, you know, can make up their own minds about it. It doesn't matter to me. I'm sure cigarette smokers will find some place to buy cigarettes. CVS might be taking a bite out of its competitors in another way. The company says it will also launch a nationwide effort to help people quit smoking. In Southfield, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. Well, it is